Welcome back. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are Mark, Lisa and Chico the Chihuahua. We decided to leave our everyday life by selling our home and live full time in our motor home to travel the world and make new adventures. This time we revisit an old favourite of ours, the city of Santander. Good morning. New Hi. day, different place. Yeah. Where are we, Mark? Spain. Oh, for God's sake. Northern in, Spain, aren't we? We're in Santander. And if you can remember back to last year, uh, roughly about this time. Yeah, but just over a year ago, we was in the same park. We just come here for a bit of normality. We know our way around, like the back of our hand, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we love Santander. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a so lovely, lovely town. We got here yesterday, didn't we? We got one space. It's chock-a-block, isn't it? Oh, God, it's been like um, wacky races on here last night. Mm. One goes, one comes. Someone even got clamped. And it was an English person. If that were you... Let us know what happened because we don't know why you got clamped and no, why you had to pay because where you were parked yeah. everyone's been pa parked. parked there all day haven't they yeah, so. so yeah if that were you let us know what happened so what we're on with this morning we've got to go and get some food fridge is empty so it's off to supermercado something like that something just like over, that. The, over the water over there and it's only five minutes on the scooter so yeah the scooters are out let's get going let's go and get some food and then we can crack on with the day do you want to come with us come on then all right we're trying something a bit different this time. We normally go to Lidl's, don't we? Yeah. We're gonna try a looper. Don't know what it's like, what prices are like, but um give it a go, see if they do something a bit different. Yeah. Tighten yeah. scooters up. Yeah, yeah looper. They seem to be all over um, Spain, these. Not as far down south though, but there's about five of them here in Santander. Yeah. Let's go and have a look. Right, so we're back. It were all right in there, weren't it? It were a bit more yeah. pricier than the other supermarkets. Quite a little, but we've got elf food. <laughs> he calls it healthy food. Yeah. What's that, Mark? Oranges, oh, you know what they are then? Yeah. <laughs> but that's not healthy, is it? Oh, what have we got? Let's have a look. Because you put it away now, haven't you? Yeah. We've got some juices. We got, oh, yeah. What did you get? Tatung. Tatung. Three delicacies. So you get rice, chopped ham, carrot, and peas in the Chinese Asian style. It's Chinese, not, Asian It's style. stuck on that. It's not a very big portion, but it's it, it'll see me through, won't it? Mm. So we can get to another. You can eat buffet. Look, it's all right. Oh, you can eat buffet. They don't exist in in Spain. Um, we've got. Oh yeah, this is what I got. We've got a paella. Look at that paella. It's no muscles in it, thank God. Yeah, and we've got some meats and stuff, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, just meats for sandwiches. Juices and stuff. What we've learnt is don't overfill your fridge. Well, we've been telling ourselves this for absolutely ages. I think we've even told you guys, don't overfill your fridge. What was that bacon like? I fetched three packs of bacon from Aldi, thinking it'd see us over because it was a massive long date should on it. should have froze it, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should have froze it. Um, and we went into it the other day. Oh, God, the smell. It were awful. Mm. But like Mark said, it was 35 degrees. The fridge just couldn't well, cope. Well, fridge is, and when we get back, we're going to be looking for a compressor fridge, aren't we? To Apparently so. It. So this is, I mean, it's on gas day and night. It's not expensive, is it, the gas? It's probably about 80, it's not really cold enough for a fridge, but we, it's all right, we're managing. And I do want to show you this cool box we've got under the bed. A cool box? It's not a cool box. It's, it's on steroids, cool yeah. box. It's a fridge freezer. We've had it, uh, we've been trying it, haven't we? Because we wanted to take it abroad with us and see how yeah. it cooks. You can't right see much of it at the minute, but it's there. From a company called Bodega. If you lift it up, the lid, make yeah. sure you can it's see it. It's got a light on it. It's in freezer mode at the moment, so it's full. You can see the frost on the inside. And it's a 60 litre one, that. So it's got a divider on it. So you can have a fridge and a freezer. And in a minute, it's on freezer mode, minus 15. It's got and a it's massive strapped. handle on it as well. But that USB there, in case you're wondering, I'm going to plug that back in, actually. I put some fans on underneath. USB fans, so it blows out the wall there. So it helps it because it's tucked away under the bed, extracts all the air. So that was like an addition that doesn't come with the box, but it does come with a USB port. But to now it's been all right. It's a little bit noisy, isn't it? But yeah, because it's under. Well, you wouldn't normally have it under a bed, would you? Well, but yeah, it's it's, it's done us, hasn't it? It's like a big chest freezer at the minute yeah, for us, isn't a, it? It's like a full chest freezer. It's sixty liters. We have had it had it half fridge, half freezer. And what's the company called again? Bodega. 
Yeah. So the details are in the description. We have tested this for a couple of months now, to be fair, and it's been spot on, hasn't it? Yeah. It's a pity we don't do, and if you're listening, Badiga, again, thanks for sending it. It's a pity you don't do an upright one the size of this, because we'd try it out for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a, a bit of a Achilles heel with this motor, I'm on it, that fridge freezer. So. Yeah, we, we've had it upside down, out, in, out, in, so. Yeah, so. Compressor, fridge, freezer, here we come. It's good to see the healthy breakfast lasted long, Mark. Well, you've had half of this. I have, but you were going on about healthy food that we've bought. No, I don't like it. You don't like it? I'm going to have a banana instead. Ah, yeah, right. So we've just found a little, um, not a hack, but something really useful for van life. Because Mark goes through, kitchen roll, like I don't know what, he just rolls it off and rolls it off. But look at this. We bought some kitchen roll from Spain and it actually comes off in halves instead of the full sheet. So he's now limited to one sheet, two strips. <laughs> Did you hear that? Instead of reaming it all off, you're on a budget now. The sun has finally come out in Spain. Hurrah! <laughs> Chico's ready. He's in there somewhere. There we go. <laughs> so we're going to take it to the other side of Santander now, the busier side. This is like the relaxed side, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh, and right around, like I say, it was here a year, just over a year ago. I mean, yeah. you have to look at the shops, don't you? Yes. And see what we can find. Wow, I can't believe it. We were in LA start last month and we had a helicopter land next to us. Now they're actually pulling someone out of the water. They look floppy, don't they? Yeah, oh my goodness. Someone's really got into trouble out there, aren't they? I hope they're all right. Look at this Lisa here. Travelator. Travelator for the street. As if. It's not even that steep, is it? <laughs> Look at this. It's like going to Tesco outside, isn't it? That's well weird, isn't it? I've never seen one of these before. It's very slow though, Mark. I'm sure you could walk a lot faster. It's slow, isn't it? Yeah. You could do it if you were in England, I suppose. Where is it? It must be waterproof because it rains or something. Oh, yeah. Bizarre. It's alright if you've got some time to kill. <laughs> it could do with being a bit speedier. Yeah, it is a bit slow, isn't it? Clever, isn't it? Yeah. I've never seen this outside before. No, it's well bizarre. What a good idea. It'd be perfect if we got to the top and there was an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet restaurant, wouldn't it? The only problem is, is when you get people stopping in front of you that don't walk, you, you're literally stuck here now. Oh, Can't sorry. get past. You're not supposed to walk, you're supposed to stand. I think you stand. are supposed to, you're supposed to help you walk up the, the road, Mark, not just struggling, stand here. I think that's not struggling, you feel like jerking. And now we've got the police helicopter. So there's trouble down at the beach. We're coming to the town and there's trouble down at town now. And that's what looks like a building, so that... Oh, police cars has gone past as well, Mark. Something's going off. Yeah. That what looks like a building in front of you is actually a cruise ship. Yeah, I wonder if something's happened on the cruise ship. I don't know. Let's go down to the front and see if we can find out. So we've made it down to the front and there's, we found police on horses, police dogs. Helicopter still going round. I don't know whether it's something to do with this cruise ship, whether something's happened on the cruise ship. It's all kicking off here in Santander, isn't it, today? <laughs> it's kicking always off. kicking off everywhere where you bloody go. Yeah. What a beautiful white horse that is. It's got a marking on its leg. It's walking like Chico. Like. Chico walks like that. <laughs> now we've just spotted there's a bin on fire over there. I don't think the police have actually seen it. It's actually smoking. Where that fella's, oh, someone's just pointing to it now. Someone's obviously put a cigarette in it, haven't they, or something? Oh, it's all drama in Spain. So Lisa strikes again. What an absolute bargain. Look at this menu. Them prices are definitely correct. Cheaper than Weber Spoons, this, isn't it? Mega cheap, mega cheap. I had to go in and say, is this menu correct? Two euro. Now these are like... You thought they were big ones to be fair, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I thought they were a normal menu. But 130 I've got like for a, a hot dog. Barbecue Look sauce. at that, it's well dinky. And crisps, all this, and a big massive pan for Mark. Six euros, aren't it? <laughs> Six euros. It's unbelievable. 
it's well unbelievable isn't it yeah and look yeah. at that we've got the lovely view of the cruise ship behind us as well deep enough that isn't it there's not many places you can get on the front at a resort like this and pay six euro it's two euro a pan look at the size of the pants and it's strong and all that yeah it's your last one mate the first one it's your last so we think we found the equivalent to a Spanish Weatherspoons. Or a very similar, isn't it? I was looking on my pint pot and it's got the name of a bar, what we're at, called 100 Montaditos. It is... Um, a chain. It looks like a chain because they're all over the place, which is a good thing. So we're going to keep his eye on for them now because <laughs> there's no Weatherspoons. But like them things, food snacks what we had were small, but they were nice. They were nice, they? really, really good. Really going. good quality. Yeah. And two euro a pint, you're not going to get that anywhere else yeah. in Spain. So, yeah. Well, you went up originally, you got a pint for me and a coffee for you, and it was three euros. Yeah. So I said, let me just get drinks first because it's going to be a catch here somewhere. So, actually, in the end of it, for nine euros, we've got had two big pints. You have? No, there's more than pints, aren't they? Because they're 500, I think they are. So, they're more than a pint. You've had a coffee. Yeah. Can let you. And we've had that food as well, yeah. haven't we? So. Not bad. We're going to move on, aren't we? We've not done much here videoing because we've been here, haven't we, last year? So it was just a bit of normality coming here, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and our, our pitch is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want to leave, do you? Because it's free as well, but yeah. it's just like they're coming and going and we're not parking up, are they? Because it's busy. No, but, but we are moving on and we're going to hit a place called Gijon. Not Dijon, it's Gijon. Yeah, so North um, Coast. That'll probably be our last stop, stop on the north coast of Spain. We might make one going down like Vigo or something like that. Yep. But, but we're actually heading for do, 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 Portugal. Yeah. So we're going to try and get the whole of Portugal done, yeah. the coastline of it. I want to try some Portuguese sausage. Why? Nice. It's supposed to be nice, isn't it? Right, just like that, we've moved. <laughs> We have left Santander, as beautiful it is, as it is, and as lovely as the site was, it's time to move on. Where are we now? A place called Gijon. We've been told that's how you say it. <laughs> Not Gijon, it's, it's got a J in it, but you know, pronounce it, a lovely gentleman uh, and his, his lady wife who was next to us over at Santander, I was talking to him, he was showing me his little motorbike and everything, <laughs> and he was him who said it's Gijon. We, we had a quick squeeze yesterday, this place is just, it's, it's, I think it's a bit better than Santander, isn't it? Oh yeah, it? it's much better, yeah, there's loads of stuff, loads of shops, it's an old town and everything. We've bought the weather with us, haven't we? It's yeah. nice and cloudy, about 20 degrees, it's still fairly warm, must have it? But no, it's a pleasant day today here, it's, it's bearable. Yeah let's just say that it's just not sunny Chico's whining in the background he wants to get going um, so we're going to go into the town and show you the beautiful is that how you say it? yeah Three minutes from that air that we're stopping at. And you're at the seaside, aren't you? A lovely walk through the park. Seaside-ish, you're nearly at the seaside. This is the dog beach. That's the reason why it's the dog beach. There is a bit of sand. Yeah, it's hard for your dogs. Isn't it? It's good for crab pools and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, some kids over there doing it, like I say. But yeah, it's a bit rocky on this side, but it's still the seafront, and it's a free air. And we're all going free. right over there. You can't right see them at all where the my rise buildings are. So yeah, we're going right over there. How far is it? Three and a half mile. Something like that. it's about five kilometres in it, right to the old town. And they've got a cycle route all along the front for it. So let's go and see a bit more. <laughs> made it to the beach as you can see behind us it's a massive one it's a bit like Benedo on this front isn't it yeah very similar yeah but a bit not as rowdy um it stretches for like we say three and a half mile mm -hmm. so there's no golden mile here it's, it's like three and a half mile it, like little bays and things isn't it you can sit up so it's not like one big long beach but no so this is the sandy part we've showed you the, the dog dog part mm -hmm. i don't think i'd take chico on there bless him it's like no. climbing mountains wouldn't it would be free well, <laughs> this is like the beginning of the town here isn't it so yeah yeah it's big like say we did come down yesterday they were surfing yesterday it was a little bit oh stormy, my wasn't god it? yeah the waves were massive weren't yeah, they like they were yeah. struggling to stand up there were hundreds in yeah. there with surfboards so 
not as bad today as you can see the tide's quite a way out yeah, so it's calm isn't it so. yeah so it's a lovely beach <laughs> it is dinner time i'll let him off this time we've had our breakfast already yeah in the van but we've just gone past, we're just zapping past on these scooters and i saw five euro and they look like subway sandwiches yeah, five euros fifty so you get a bacata and babidas what's that mean babida it's a drink in it all right yeah. well i've got a coffee and this sandwich is massive i don't even know what it is get your pizza out first yeah well, look at that and pizza donut two cans of coke and a coffee 12 euro and a lovely sea view to go with it so ah. Well that, for 12 euro, and that view, and the sun coming out, what a perfect little spot I picked. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. That sandwich is as big as your arm. Absolutely huge. I might have done it, I should made a mess with it all around my face. For a change. But yeah, the sun's eventually coming out, so it's gonna be proving to be a cracking day. So what do we know about this beautiful church then? Church of San Pedro. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it's been restored. It's right on the seafront, as we always say. It probably gets quite a lot of weather when it's stormy, so it looks quite tidy. So it's probably had a lot of work done to it. But look at the setting where it's at. Beautiful, isn't it? Can yeah. you imagine coming out of church on a Sunday and seeing that? Would it make you come to church? Only if it's a nudist beach over there. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. How old is it? Do we know how old it is? Uh, There's nothing on it, is there really? A few hundred years old, I would think. Because size of a bell up there, look. Can't beat a good bell on a church, can you? Chico's here, played yeah. around in the sun. What are you doing? I'm looking at these bins here. Why? It's only a bin. Well, look how deep down they go. You could put a body in there, Lisa. You can what? Put a body in it, look. Where's the bottom? Oh, it's yeah. It's full, isn't it? It's got plastic bottles and all sorts in it. Oh, they must lift the whole floor up then. <laughs> Good idea, isn't it? So all of these are all underground. It's like it's some like, kind of courtyard. It's like some off uh, an holiday brochure, doesn't it? We are on holiday. But it's, um, yeah, because it was a bit grey and miserable yesterday. That's why we didn't film anything, isn't it? So, yeah. I hope you may see it. Everywhere I go, there's some fella playing one of these, isn't there? Are you dancing, Mark? You were dancing then. Put a cap out, we can make some money. <laughs> I found someone that's uh, got similar aches and pains like you. Meet Alberto. But he's got hair, hasn't he? <laughs> I thought they put a statue up for you. Chico. Chico's too busy eating leaves. Oh! That's how the lorries get round the old town. They can't fit down the streets, can they? What are you doing? I wish I'd brought my cap with me. My head's burning. Well, you won't be told, will ya? Well, you make me shave all my hair off, so... Uh, no, it comes out on its own, Mark. You could do a sticky... Ah! Oh! You idiot! Stick your head under it. Why? Go on. Right. Yeah, go on, stick your head under it. There you go. Press it. <laughs> I won't mind, but it's not even that hot. Now wipe it with your cloth, don't have it all over t shirt. <laughs> Looks like your proper sweating now. Is that better? the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want to fight no more because i don't feel the need no more no just want to make it stop maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late to let it go and that's why i wish you the best and say goodbye you start to get dressed and then we cry because we both know it's gonna hurt but not as much as this does we had a good so on our travels 
this time round. We're quite impressed with this place, aren't we, Gihan? Look at this. This is one of the oldest tavernas going. There's two or three thousand and six up there, but I think it's wrong. The dining room's on the first floor. It looks like a house, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Really it's full of people well. inside as well. But yeah, we're impressed with this place. Oh, there's loads to look at here. Absolutely full of character and characters. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's good, isn't it? We are quite impressed. On this t this time round, this is probably our favourite place up the press, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so. definitely. Well, no one floor was good. Mm, Prince, so. mm, Well, yeah, this is the best one for Spain then. <laughs> you nasty dog. He's getting his ten men attitude, trying to take that one on. Yeah. <laughs> So It'll that was uh, a little bit of the old town, wasn't it? Yeah, really, really pretty and really, really old. So it's break time, but we've had some lovely coffees bought for us recently, haven't we? And we did say we'd come out and treat ourselves and Chico. And look what we've got. So I've got a lovely coffee, Chico's got two bones, mm -hmm. and Mark's got a cork. And what have you got been given? Tapas, isn't it? It comes with your drink, don't it? You don't even pay for it in Spain. He's got a little cake as well. So Chico says thank you. For his biscuits on. <laughs> there you go. Mark's had to put the biscuit in his mouth and crunch it up because it's a bit big for Chico. But he's loving it. Mm. Isn't it nice, Cheeks? They're nice. <laughs> Good boy. They're a bit big them bones for Chico at the moment, aren't they? Right, what what have you up. just done? He's put, yeah. <laughs> he put it in his mouth to crunch it up and get a got, got a gob full of biscuit. It tastes like rich tea. Well you're not having that one as well, that's Chico's, bought by the subscribers. What have you got there? It looks like cheese, but it's not, it's omelette on bread, isn't it? And I've got a piece of cake. I'll just show you this bar that we've walked in, it's like something you'd find in like London. Really, really smart. We found a hack. Don't come to Spain and eat, come into the bars and drink, and you get free food every time you order something. Another plate of crisps, another tortilla, and uh, another omelette. Another omelette, um, from a little bottle of pop. So just keep drinking. It happens even if you get a beer or a wine as well. You still get another dish of food, so winner, winner, free dinner. So we've dropped Chico off back at the van, but we wanted some to put Chico in because he's out, believe it or not, he's outgrowing his carry case he's already. Carry case, yeah. So what we've done is we've nipped to this pet shop. We found a pet shop on Google Maps. With everyone's treat money that they've been sending to us through buyers of coffee for Chico, we've got him some treats. Thank you very much. But we've also put your money towards. Da, 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 da. Right, yeah. Look at that. Look at his new swish home. Flaps. He's got a flap up there. It doesn't like being in direct wind, so this is going to be fantastic I for him. Scooters, because we're going forward, so he's not getting uh, wind in his face. Is no, it? Makes it big absolutely ears love that. it. We took him out today, and the bag it's just getting a bit heavy, and it's really it's only one strap, so to carry that is really hard. So, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you for so everyone much. that sent us or uh, bought coffees or bought Chico a treat. He's now got them and he's now got a swish new carry case that he's gonna love. Thanks to back, you guys. When we get back to the van, we're gonna pop him in it and we'll show you what we'll he show looks you like. what he looks like. Oh dear, no Chinese takeaway anywhere here. And he's gagging for one. So what have we had to do? Go to the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got? Arrows, which is rice, tres delicacy. Yes. Yeah, so we're both gonna have that. We've got that one, we've got one in the motor yeah. as well, like that. What else have you got? Double prawn crackers. Bucket of prawn crackers. Pangamba. Pangamba. <laughs> right, isn't it? We're going to do a zone, aren't we? Well, we've already got one of these. We've got from Lidl, so there's plenty now, haven't we? Yeah. So thank you to Sarah Parker. I know you bought him a Chinese through Buy Me a Coffee. So that's what the money's gone to. And these are quite good in Spain, these packs, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. They're not like back home where they look like Iceland rubbish. It's like proper oh. Chinese. Like, just put in the tub. That's what he said, Sarah. Thank you very much. Don't forget to send some more. You cheeky. No, no, thank you. It's uh, muchly appreciated. So remember the bag we've just bought of Chico? Look at this. Mark's modelling it nice for you. And here he is. Do you like it, Cheeks? Oh, Chico just wants to bat it, Mark. Hey. 
Chico. Hello. Look at that. And we can see him up there. Hello. <laughs> I wonder what happens when you open this mark. There he is. Do you like it? Say thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Is it comfy? Yeah, you don't know where he's on. Huh? Let's see what he's doing. He just wants to bat it at the minute, I'm afraid. No, he Chico! There he is. He'll get used to it. When we're going upstairs, you'll be fine, won't he? He's got more room in that, loads more room. <laughs> he's just... He's just trying to get out at the top of it at a minute. Yeah, so we've left the site of Gijon. Oh, Gijon. However you want to say it. We've had a really nice time, really good. But we want to, we're reaching to move. And we're heading today for Portugal. Oh, Portugal. At the minute, I think we're going into space. Yeah. We're climbing from last night, climbing to so how, how far up are we? Uh, at the minute, we're nearly 900 metres up. Hey, it was a stop there, Mark. Stop there for now. The views from up here are stunning. This, this road's the AP66, so anyone who's been on it will know how steep it is. We've, we've actually just seen a sign saying, check you what? Your engine temperature. <laughs> Look at these views. I wish we could get the drone up up here. And we've also got some super thanks. We've got Sean Rock 64, uh, yeah. Catwalk 1958, and Lee Tuck. 1218. Thank you, thank, thank you, you so, so all so much. much. As you can see in this vlog, we have got uh, Chico a new travel bag. So his treats, uh, money went towards that, and he's also got some treats as well. So he also directly helps us drive the bus, doesn't he? Yeah, to these stunning locations which we're taking you to. Yeah, yeah, every bit helps. Thank you so so much. But what we're going to do? We're going to leave this vlog here. I know. Portugal's going to be next on the agenda so make sure you tune in for the next one and if you have liked this video please like comment I will get back to you but hit that subscribe button it keeps us going um, and we will catch you on the next one in Portugal it's gonna